still going to do chain rule. We still have a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> what is the derivative of 4x plus 1? I know that seems trivial, but just 4, right? Just 4? In fact, if I give you y is equal to um, any linear expression, ax plus b, that's a linear expression? I could have used mx plus b where m is the slope of the line, but let's just say a and b are constants here. What would the derivative of this be? Just a, right? It's just going to be the, the number that was in front of x, because the b, the derivative of that's going to be 0. Yes? All right, so with that in mind, I would like to know if someone gives you sine of a linear expression, what the derivative of it will be. Anytime you have sine of a linear expression, what is the derivative of it going to be? Cosine of everything in there times a. Right, so this is where you would cover this up. What's the derivative of sine of something? That would be cosine of that something. But then you go inside, right? You've done that. You go inside. Derivative of that would be a. And so you can move the a out front. You could write a cosine of ax plus b. That's the one I was really wanting you to see. So the a pops out. In some way, that a in front of the x pops out. And then the rest of it is kind of what you think, cosine of the right cosine of that stuff now that only works if it's linear if, if what's in there is not linear this doesn't work but this comes up a lot so I just want you to, to be able to be fast with something like that so here are some examples so you just move the a up front? yes Make it look prettier. yep what's the derivative of sine of pi x pi cosine pi x right What about y equals sine of uh, 10 to the 7th power minus e times x? It's just e negative e. Negative e. Cosine. Negative e cosine of 10 to the 7th minus e times x. Now remember, e by itself is a number, just like pi is. e is the same as e to the first power, which is approximately 2.718 something. All right? So I just kind of gave you a very tricky version of ax plus b. The, the a here was negative e, and then the b was 10 to the 7th, which is some constant. So the, the, um, the A popped out, cosine of the stuff. Got it? Now what would happen if I change this general formula to cosine? The only difference would be negative sine, right? And you'd still get the A to pop out. So over here we would have negative A sine of AX plus B. So you still get the a to pop out, but now it's going to change the sign. Whatever the a was, it'll change it. Got it? All right. I can keep doing examples. I think I'll do one more example and then we have a lot of time left. I think I'll give you kind of a sample quiz. A sample of what you are going to have to do next class. Not to be, it won't be graded, right? It won't be collected, but it'll, it'll make you actually sit there and see like how comfortable are you with this. And it'll cover, you know, some power rule, product rule, quotient rule, and then I'll throw some chain rule on there so you can practice that. And we'll just work on that until the end of class. All right? Um, what about this one? Y is equal to sine of sine of sine of sine of root x.
No, you're not, because you can do this. It just looks bad. It's just a big onion, right? With a bunch of layers to it. And you're just going to work your way from the outside in. You ready? Y prime is. All right, the outer layer. So I'm going I'm to start with this one, right? What's the derivative of sine? Of, I don't even have anything big enough to put up here to cover all the other stuff, right? It's sine of all that stuff right there. So it's cosine of all that stuff, right? So all that stuff was sine, sine, sine root x, right? So sine of sine of sine of root x. Close it off. One, two, three. So I believe I have one, two, three, one, two, three, and then that's inside the cosine. Yes, time. So I just want to be clear. This piece right here is this piece right here. Right? So I've done, I've done this sign. Now I move in. I say times. Very good that you said times. Because that's the only multiplication I actually have at this point, right? None of this is multiplication. This is all of, 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 right? Cosine of, sine of, sine of, of, root. Now times. So we're now working on this piece, right? So we have sine of these, right? Derivative of sine of these, two hands, is cosine of my two hands, right? Which was well, sine of sine of root of x. times, again, so I've done this one, cosine of, of just a single sine, right, of root x. So I've done that one. One more to do. So times cosine of root x. I've done all the trig stuff. I'm finally at the inside piece times 1 over 2 root x. That's it. So the answer is cosine of sine of sine of sine of root x times cosine of sine of sine of root x times cosine of sine of root x times cosine of root x times 1 over 2 root x. Say that, yeah, say that fast. So, do what? Simpli no, no, that's important. You cannot simplify this because you can't. These things are inside the arguments of trig functions. You can't combine these. You could maybe put this together with this one if their arguments were the same, but they're not. So this is it. This is it. There's nothing more you're doing there. Makes you apprehensive? Your problems are not going to be like that. There are a couple like that towards the end. In fact, they do one in the book. Um, they do sine of sine of sine of x. The hardest one in the book that I can see right off the bat is, but I did it in the homework video, is root of x plus root of x plus root x. Yeah. But I did that. That's a homework problem. Okay, so you can do that. You can do that at home. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do a little uh, in-class activity. We don't get many days like this. Somebody asked me to prove the chain rule. Who asked me to prove the chain rule? With the limit definition. Um, I can do it in like five minutes if you want to see it. Do you all want to see the proof or not? We no? How about I put the problems up there and then I'll put the proof over here. While you're working on stuff, I'll put the proof over here and then you can just look up at it and I can talk to you about it. If you want. All right, so here we go. D you're not turning these in, but it would be good if you just took out a piece of paper or had a nice fresh sheet of paper and you started this off almost like you were taking a quiz. So for all of these, for all of these, find y prime, okay? Find y prime. So y is equal to uh, 3x to the fourth minus the square root of x plus 1 over x cubed. For number two, y is equal to x squared 
cosine x, y is equal to x cubed plus x tangent x, number four, All right, there's a good variety of problems there. I will tell you that six, seven, and eight are from today. So those are chain rule. Everything else, one through five, could have been on a quiz today, beginning of class, one through five. Yeah, just work on the raw derivatives right now. Don't worry about simplifying your answers. Just get the raw derivative and move on to the next problem. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that right now. I don't mind if you all talk to each other, help each other out. That's okay with me if you want to check your answers with your neighbor.
Yes. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I was doing number one. I had to. I simplified. Yeah, you should not do. You should not try and do number one with the quotient rule. Damn. <laughs> Did you? You can, but it's it's going to be uglier. I actually, um, maybe I didn't stress this in the class. Just separate it into three different terms. Because there's only a single term in the denominator, right? So you just put this over this, this over this, this over this, and they're all powers of x. And just do the power. Yeah, but your derivative with the quotient rule is going to look very ugly compared to the derivative when you do it. But it'll still be correct. It'll still be correct. That's right. Yes. It is right. But it's going to take you a lot longer that way, and it shows that you are missing the fact that that splits easily. Instead of just like, I see quotient, I do quotient, you know, like more robotic. But it's still correct. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be addition so you can break it up into three different.